Okay. I've been meditating on this energy for a minute. And now I gotta go. So. Um, so let's get it. Let's get it and let's go. All right. I cannot stand when I meditate and then I try to go to sleep every fucking time. Don't nobody want to go to sleep? The fuck? Someone's going through a tower moment while somebody is dealing with, like, okay, so somebody's demons, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, is coming to the forefront, and while somebody is going through that, somebody else is going through the opposite, if that makes sense, okay, um, yeah, what it seemed like to me is that, it sounded like, it seemed like karma, and while somebody's going through karma, somebody's going through something else. But let's see. There's somebody suffering in silence. He can't make it up. And somebody's getting a third eye activation. You ain't even praying that loud. Yeah. You ain't even praying that loud. Somebody need to um somebody needs to cleanse their sacral chakra area here. That's that's more reason why they might be feeling stuck and dealing with financial constraints here. You ain't even praying that loud. Somebody is um, harboring resentment. Somebody here is harboring resentment here. And it's dealing with like a past. It's dealing with, this is, um, this right here is from a past life. I'm trying to find the word I want to say, damn it. Oh, that's karma from a past life. And somebody still, somebody, somebody came here to actually deal with that resentment. And instead of taking care of it, they, um, no, that's what I want. It's okay. Calm down, girl. Slow the fuck down. This resentment is coming up to the forefront. This energy in this person, the spirit in this person, the spirit of resentment is coming to the forefront for somebody to heal. And instead of them recognizing that's what's going on, they're, they're like throwing a temper tantrum. And I feel like whoever this is, the reason why they might be feeling like that because somebody might have disruptness in their journey. So somebody here is resentful, sad. But this this resentfulness and sadness is from a it's from their past life. This energy is from their past life, and it's coming to the forefront for them to heal it, for them to do something about it. Yeah, somebody here is feeling orphaned. Somebody here is feeling like an orphan. They're feeling like, don't, they feel like, whoever they see is spiritually, they feel like don't nobody want them, ain't nobody caring. Like, they feel like their ancestors ain't here for them. But I get the feeling that, first of all, your orphan, your, your, your um, ancestors just don't abandon you. Um, or spirit guides don't abandon you. You had to do something. And if you did something, then you you obviously need to deal with the consequences for it, right? 
this is your inner child talking to you saying it needs to be healed it's been here for a while and it needs to come up to the forefront in order for you to move forward here so actually you should be happy that this is happening to you because this happening to you is, is, is allowing for you to see yourself in a different light and if you reject it you stay in this energy and somebody here has been rejecting this for a long time You've lived many lives influenced by unhealed karma. So somebody is in this unknown energy because they don't recognize what's going on. In your healing journey, if you don't recognize what's going on and you don't and you don't know how to transmute it, this is how you react. Right? That's why it's important to stay on top of it. Okay. And whoever this is, they have some type of past life to commit. Okay. Last life in duality of the light. Fights natural urge to embrace darkness. So whoever this is, you have some type of dark entity attached to you that you need to learn how to face so that you can balance it out. But whoever this is, you've been running from it for so freaking long. You've been asking not run from it no more. That's what's going on here. Somebody here, this energy right here, you, you, somebody, whoever this is, they look at money, power, and respect as more important than anything so that's why they're still dealing with this this is why whoever this is your your ancestors are calling you to tap into your spiritual power here because money power and respect at this time is not going to get you nowhere you ask for something but your ancestors or your spirit guides and somebody saying sure but only if you work for it so yeah you want money power and respect that's what the hell is going on but at the same time, you have a spiritual calling. You have a calling on your life. And until you take care of that calling on your life, you won't get nothing. Because your ancestors are saying to you that whoever this is, this is something that is naturally in you anyway. But you got to attract it in. And you're not attracting it in. Whoever this is, you've been doing other things for a long time to, to make it come to you. But it's all temporarily. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's saying definitely it's fate here. You don't need to worry about that. And not a hope in hell. And they say that wouldn't be right for you. So so you asking for something and your ancestors like not you crazy as hell, not a hope in hell. Not a hope in hell. So we're going to figure out what the hell that is. So let's let's see what you're asking for. And then we're going to find out what that is. But somebody here got resentment that they need to bring to the forefront and deal with. <coughs> you know what's funny, y'all? Every time I get on here to record, I don't have no, no cold or nothing. At all. Period. Every time I get on here and record, I start coughing. I swear, every fucking time. I'll be completely fine. I don't know damn where. Here we go with this shit. Somebody needs, somebody needs to discard something. Here. What do, they, what do they need to discard? What do they need to discard? What do they need to discard? Somebody's falling apart. Because somebody here, okay, somebody also here is under spiritual attack. Okay, somebody here is being attacked because they coming in. Okay. Somebody here is being attacked because they coming in after somebody. Somebody here is being attacked because they stopped having sex with somebody. They coming in after somebody else. They're coming in after somebody else who 
is potentially doing drugs. What the fuck? Okay. That's why they being attacked. Because this person is used to getting what they want. And they don't care. Like It's like dealing with time. It's like dealing with time here. With this person who used to get what they want. <clears throat> they used to get what they want right away. And because they're not getting what they want right away, they're becoming depressed and in their feelings. But really, somebody here just needs to check themselves. Okay? Somebody used to get what they want right away because they because they're not getting used to getting because they're not getting what they want right away. It's like they're throwing a temper tantrum. <clears throat> so there's two things going on here. Somebody is attacking somebody because somebody is walking away to go after somebody else. Somebody's doing this to fulfill their destiny, and somebody here is getting mad because they didn't figure this shit out, and because they're going to fulfill their destiny. Now this person. That's the person that's falling apart that's doing the attack. The person that's falling apart is like a kid. So they're used to getting their way, and when they get their way, they used to get it right away. And so now, because somebody here is walking away from that energy and going towards something else, they falling apart. So now they they uh, attacking this person that's walking away. Okay, because somebody's in depression and in their feelings about somebody walking away. And spirits are saying, you need to check yourself. <clears throat> and then they're talking, telling the person that's walking away, you need to stay safe and protect yourself against this toxic person who has anger management problems and is also a hater. Wow. Um, this person that is walking away from somebody, they wanted to have a kid with you looks like what they feel like that's not no longer gonna have it happen so that's another reason why they throw in this temper tantrum also too they're they're burning some type of evidence they're trying to get rid of some shit that they did so that you won't find out because it's over the game is over okay for somebody maybe the police uh will ring a fucking bell here okay because they tired somebody here is tired of the drama and somebody here is also telling somebody that, oh, that's, um, that's old. Like, that person don't know what they talking about or that person is, is not tapped in or some shit like that. Okay. But that's not true. What else is going on here? This is a lot right off the rip. Damn. So this reminds me of, like, somebody that's, like, heavily spiritually anointed. And when you're heavily spiritually anointed... You go through a series of attacks because um, the, the 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 energy, the dark energy, don't want you to see the anointing on your life. So then it comes to you to attack you so that you can get discouraged and get the fuck up. But also here, somebody got karma attached to this. You got karma attached to this. You got two things going on. You have karma attached to this from some shit that you were supposed to then deal with, and then you got somebody attacking you that looks like was a lover. That you were dealing with so you have two things so that's why it's so severe and that's why it feels so heavy okay somebody here is trying to figure out how to solve a problem here they want to know i guess somebody want to know how that's why these okay so that's why these came out the your ancestors they was like hell to the fucking no or something like that or no way in hell because you must be asking questions you must be praying and there's certain things you asking about that's just gonna get your ass in more trouble so let's pull these back out then since these is out. <clears throat> yeah, not a hope in hell. That's what they said. So let's clarify the brainstorming here. <clears throat> Alright, one fell out way the hell over here. They said, nah. So long shot, but maybe. Okay, let's see what that's about. Let's see what you asked. Okay, what is the can you clarify the brainstorming here? somebody asked about a movie date that's what you asked about you asked to take somebody on a date okay the reason why it's a no because I'm listening to the music is because whoever you coming at you can't come at them the, the same fucking way that you always come and do something they're not the typical girl 
That's why your ancestors said that. So your ancestors is basically rooting for the goddamn woman here because she must be divine. You're the, so this is a divine feminine. I don't have the emotional capacity to answer that now. <laughs> this is the feminine. This is why they said that. So basically what your ancestors, ancestors are saying, this person has boundaries right now. And you need to respect those because you did what you did. So it's kind of like don't be in this energy where you're trying to hurry up and get something done and, and make it go your way. Don't be a manipulator is what your ancestors are trying to say. So we could we solve the that. yeah, that's funny. Somebody is um this copycat. This copycat, okay, so this is what I'm picking up. This copycat might walk around or talk or act like they okay, but this how this copycat feel. This copycat energy has been a, a lot lately, damn it. Okay. This copycat energy, so this copycat energy is the one that's doing a spiritual attack. This is the one, again, that's also um um seeing you falling apart so while you're falling apart they feel like you don't you're not strong enough to survive this or you're not strong enough to deal with this so that's why they're attacking you because they feel like this is but this is this is a more better time than ever to attack you because they feel like you won't know the difference they feel like you won't be able to tell the difference if it's somebody else either that's what they thinking because i'm i'm i guess they might think that you don't know that it's them. Yeah, you don't with the salt or the sugar. You don't know the difference between. So this is somebody who thinks that you're an idiot spiritually. This is somebody who's mocking you. This is somebody who feels like uh, he don't even know anyway because he's weak spiritually. This woman or whoever this is or man. or But I feel like it's a woman because they wanted to have a kid with you. Whatever, you know your situation, but I feel like this is somebody that's mocking you. They feel like, ah, he weak, she weak spiritually anyway. She won't know the difference. That's why they're attacking you, and it's because you kicked them to the curb. But shit's about to hit the fan, and somebody already know what's getting ready to happen. Somebody already know that somebody's about to get some type of um, wish fulfilled, and they already know. So this person that's attacking you know the other person, whoever it is, Know that somebody about to get a wish for full and that fulfilled, and that's why they're throwing a temper tantrum. It may get so fucking bad that the police gonna probably end up being caught because somebody realizes that they've been manipulated. Can't make it up. <clears throat> somebody know that a wish is about to be fulfilled, so because they know that they starting, they're gonna end up starting some trouble here. And like I said, the police might end up being called because somebody realize that they are getting manipulated okay and the person that already know what's going on here the person that's already aware of what's going on here is not enjoying this like this is not funny to them they don't think shit is funny about this and they already knew that this would happen anyway whoever this is this is a high priestess Okay, this is a high priestess. I already knew the shit was going to happen. For some of y'all, they probably tried to warn you or whatever the fuck. And they know exactly what the fuck they're talking about. Their information is not outdated. They right on top of shit. Okay? Somebody here been telling somebody, yeah, yeah, they in old energy because somebody else here is actually was reading old energy. They wasn't tapped in like they said they was. And this person that they've been lying on just been chilling. They haven't had no reason to try to defend themselves for what? Okay. They haven't had no chance. They haven't had no reason to try to defend themselves for what? Somebody here. Looks like somebody here had. Somebody is about to make some type of no announcement. Here. Is there anything else you guys have to say here? Okay, two cars fell out. Riding it out. Sports. 
Somebody's playing some type of somebody's playing some type of game juice or some type of crush they have. Oh, that's what this is. The person that's that the, the fake person that's doing these spiritual attacks that she was in this relationship with the end. Okay, like I said earlier, they making it look good, but this is how they really feel. But whoever this is, this is a true manipulator. Okay, they're true millennial. They'll play this game all the way to the end, but they don't understand spirit is saying game been over. So spirit is letting them think that they playing this game because it looked like in their life that everything is okay. But spirit is spirit is like this is somebody that's just riding it out. They this the type of person if you don't got no evidence, they'll take this shit to the grave. This is who this is. That's this person's attacking this other person. And they'll ride it out. They'll take it to the grave. So this is a low down dirty motherfucker. Basically. And they mad because somebody tripping on you. Just that's crazy as hell. What my motherfucking music? Yeah. Somebody here um has a past life in Africa as well. Somebody been stalking somebody if they know or not. What else do you guys have to say here? What the fuck? Okay, this fell off here. Okay, somebody got some money in the wrong type of way, and they're going to end up being locked up as a result. Here. And somebody was given, this is a clue for somebody, so you can understand who this is. They was giving this person um, money to travel. They was giving this person money, and they both were traveling together. This person that they used to um that they used to um sleep with but they stopped doing it they're no longer doing that okay they no longer giving this person money and traveling with this person so now this person is throwing a temper tantrum because this person is coming towards you instead this person is going through awakening and basically, this person is going through awakening. And basically, because this person is going through awakening, this other energy already knew this person was going through awakening. And this, uh, this other energy already knew who this person was. That's why they already knew the T was out earlier. They already know the the the, the play by play on this person, just like you do, because you're the high priestess. But this person is not the high priestess. This person has been investigating, stalking this person, all types of shit. Just like they they was doing this to both of y'all at the same time. You they was doing it to you, the other person, and they was doing it to your person because they had to. It was almost like they was rehearsing for a movie, for a script. They had to like get their lines up so they know exactly how to come. And so now, because this person is walking away from them, now they are throwing a temper tantrum because it's almost like that whole thing with the ring, the alarm, Beyonce. She was like, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still get this money that you was giving me. I'm still, you still, we still gonna be traveling, and we, I'm still gonna get that dick. Like that's what she on. And she and it's weird because this is actually what you were supposed to be having anyway because this was was naturally your destiny, but this person want to take that from you, okay? But like I said, that shit over because the same shit different day is in reverse, and that person mad about it. They don't want to see you have basically what was already supposed to be yours anyway. This was your destiny. Like somebody here is really sick in the head. Yeah. Can't make it up with the cock blocking. And they known for this type of shit. Somebody known for sleeping with somebody man too. Somebody known for like, they find out you got a good man that take care of you and all that third day. Try to take them from you and sleep with them so they could reap the benefits of that. That's the type of female this is. Like I said, you they already knew. And you already knew. That's the type of person this is. Can you give me more with this... Um, Giving money, travel, or whatever, whatever the hell this is.
Yeah, because this person is moving away from them because they rejected them. <clears throat> and somebody here could have kids here. This person will be chasing after this person. Somebody here could have kids here. Can you give me more with this, please? They could have the kids or somebody could be just trying to, um, for some of y'all contact Child Protective Services on you because you have kids. Or they could be talking about something in revol in involving Child Protective Services. Yeah, the, the spirit is saying this person just mad because they got bad karma coming or is already here and they telling you to dust it off. So this is, this, this person just mad because they're dealing with karma here because what they're trying to do is force somebody to be with them or they're trying to force they're trying to force somebody else's destiny to be theirs crazy as hell oh my car something told me to bring these out I'm trying to try to steal something of yours and now they're trying to force it. They're trying to force the situation. So they're giving this, they're giving this person money to travel and giving them money and they like, no, nah, I, I, I still want to live that life. Fucking apologize, should just do it. So they're telling somebody here to apologize. We're going to clarify who. So they're also telling somebody to detox and unfriend an asshole and throw some shit out. That's what they're saying. Somebody here is sleeping too damn much. Wake up, you missing some cool shit. They say take a fucking trip. Go see some shit. Do some things. Do new things. Talk to people cooler than you. Okay. All right, let's see who needs to fuck me. Like, whoever this is, I hope they get the mental health that they need because I'm stalking pages like that. I don't know who on what earth thinks that that threatens or bothers somebody, but that is just a sign of somebody who's very fucking mental. Okay, that's all it does, lets you know. So this King of Cups is walking away from something. So this is, this fucking apologize. I was doing this to clarify that. This is a masculine energy. So a masculine energy needs to fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. It's saying that's going to shift something in your life. And they're saying to detox, drink a smoothie, unfriend some asshole, and throw some shit out. Um... There's a masculine here that, that is walking away from something because they're tired of being somebody with the moon car here. They discovered something that was lurking in the shadows. They discovered the truth because they're tired of being blind with the two of swords and the ace of swords here. So they discovered some type of motherfucking truth. So whoever this is, you know what to do. God damn it. And so the throw the shit out is this three, this third, this three of cups, this third party energy. That's the throw the shit out. Okay, yeah, with the lovers right here. Okay, that's the throw the shit out with the lovers right here to walk towards your queen of pentacles. This person could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn or some shit. But that's the, um, that's who the fuck you need to apologize to. Because somebody here is supposed to be working together with this person. That's the download somebody must have got, obviously. That, you, that, that that was your gift. That was the message that you were supposed to be down while working with that person in the first place. So now you need to have the strength to tame your own ego and you need to have the strength to to deal with this but somebody here just needs to fucking apologize and i just feel like that'll personally shift some shit but i also personally feel like like earlier whoever this male male is you were trying to force things to go your way or trying to hurry up and do shit that's your own answer are already telling you don't do don't go about trying to do this shit the wrong way you need to listen to your ancestors and your spirit guides on how to be guided on how to do this 
so that you don't disrespect or um, anybody's ancestors or spirit guides or disrespect the person or their spirit guides in this situation. You're being called to allow yourself to be guided in this situation. But like I said, somebody here needs to tame their own ego and have the strength and the courage because somebody here manifested something here. Somebody did manifest something here. Okay. And now they're waiting. But it's not going to be a situation where whoever this is, this is not going to be a situation where you're waiting for them to come to say something to you because you're the one that did in the wrong. Nine times out of ten, your guys are going to guide you to go towards somebody else because you did the wrong. <laughs> All right, what else is here? Because I got to hurry up and get the fuck out of here. I was meditating too damn long. For over an hour. That's why sometimes I don't like meditating because I end up doing that. Okay, somebody here has the world. This situation has the world. This is already faded. This is a cycle that will be completed once somebody does the right things here. This cycle is not completed until the right the steps, the right moves have been taken here. Okay, so rushing in and taking this leap of faith premature. Um, it's not going to help until somebody actually listens to the guidance and listens to what needs to be done here. All right. That's what that what that's what someone's needing to do here. All right. Someone needs to listen here and listen to, to, to the guidance and do the right thing. All right. Cause I see, I see, I see the good things coming here and really need to listen. Cause the devil is still lurking here. With this king of wands and this queen of wands in between. The devil is right in between the two of y'all. Because y'all embodying all the kings and queens. I'm going to show you. The devil is right in between you two. This is why your ancestors are saying allow yourself to be guided through this. So you don't make, so that you won't get, it's, it's also so that you won't be confused. Because somebody here is already in, the, in confusion due to dealing with this karmic, which is what they wanted in the first place. And these karmic friends, these karmic groups. They wanted this person to be confused because they knew that you were prematurely, uh, prematurely spiritually not there yet. So that's what they wanted for you in the first fucking place. So that's why your guys are saying now let actually listen to us and let us guide you we're going to show you how to do this we're going to show you so that you can because see this is really for your benefit this is a spiritual benefit for you whoever i'm talking to these groups of men okay that are showing up in the masculine energy this is a this is some type of uh, awakening for you so what your guys are saying is don't you prematurely fuck it up trying to rush in like you've been impulsively doing. Allow yourself to blossom the correct way by following the guidance here. Somebody here wants to take a leap of faith. They're determined. They're ready to learn. They're ready to take action. But they're showing up as a page of wine. So that means you want to do that, but you got to have the necessary. You got to learn how to do it first the right way because you've already been wounded um, under toxic energy so you got to learn you got to clean up everything up the right way you can't just go jumping in with this knight of swords here because you're ready because you're eager and ready to take this leap of faith here but you like i said you're still showing up as a page you gotta allow yourself to tap in because you're ready to go towards this empress but you got a lot of hermetic knowledge in you that you gotta study and learn yourself first you got to study and learn yourself first. Okay, with all this hermetic knowledge you got in here. You got to you got to learn about you first. Because this high priestess, this empress, the high priestess and the empress is out. You got to follow your intuition. So that you can know about this high priestess, this empress, high priestess plus empress. Okay, you they got to teach you how to follow your intuition so you can become this great leader here. Okay, by taming your own entities and your own darkness within yourself. 
so you can become this <clears throat> to become on the same frequency as your queen of wands that's also this empress okay is there anything somebody said everywhere they go they're hearing your name a lot of y'all don't want to hear that i'm just a fucking messenger back up off you yeah somebody here is going through awakening with this hangman here it's been taking a long ass time here but this is this was faded this way i can't make it up the shit is right here because these cards were right they came out this the same way okay somebody here is going through awakening see somebody's stuck like this because your guys are showing are saying this is set up this way basically you're gonna get yourself out or we gonna show you how to get yourself out That's why I said you got to listen to this guidance. But you're going to have victory when you listen. And the death is going to come. Somebody's going to be transformed here. That's why you got to listen. And you'll no longer feel left out in the fucking cold here. Somebody will feel brand new here. Which is Ace of Wands. Uh-huh. It's looking good. Looking real good. Looking real good. Somebody's going to tell the truth to themselves about a lie they've been holding in for a long time. Mm-hmm. Somebody's healing from that. Somebody's healing these... What somebody doing is balancing out their energy. They're healing these dark... This darkness in them and they're balancing it out. All somebody's doing is balancing out their energy. Somebody here lives in a place of duality that's um hindered because i don't have a word for it whereas they're so far in duality where they they use it as a weapon and it they it actually comes against them because they don't know how to use their energy the proper way here and they always end up dealing with anxiety here but somebody here is wanting this new beginning somebody here also walking through this Going through this transformation is going to end up with, with uh, so like I said earlier, very early on in this reading, when the, the money, power, and respect, and I said this is already in this person, like money, power, and respect is already in you. Your guides want you to attract it in, but somebody here been trying to go about it the worldly way and make it come to them. When somebody here, your guides, the reason why you never got it is because your guides are trying to show you how that it's in you and all you got to do is attract it to you because all this is here. And somebody here gonna go through a series of things. Somebody also here gonna go go through and see that somebody has been betraying them this whole damn time. Somebody here is gonna cause somebody here is gonna see that they've been a lot of the problems, which I'm pretty sure for some reason I'm getting the sense they kind of already know that. But they're gonna see that they have been this type of energy where they get something good and they fuck it up because they feel like it's not enough for them. Somebody here has an energy where basically because you so you've been so self-centered and stuck on yourself, you create conflict in your life and in your relationships. And with this with the most high's guidance, they're gonna show you how to stop doing that. It's all here. I'm looking dead ass at it. Okay. Some this is this this is I'm just gonna tell you what this is. This is a transformation. Which you could tell, possibly tell by the motherfucking reading when I was talking this whole time that that's what this was. But that's this is this, this is a transformation. Somebody's um, there's a group of divine masculines going through a transformation. But this one right here is the match to whatever feminineness is. Whatever feminineness is, this is the match to her because it's just masculine when they step in their power, they're very fucking powerful. Your energetic. Your energetic come up, yeah, yeah. Your energetic come up drains their demons. Fake witches hating on you. So one of these fake witches is um this this other person, this fake high priestess or yeah, this fake I say fake high priestess, fake slash empress. This is that person. This is the person that your person or people, because this is more than one group. This is a this spirit, this energy is in a group of different people. Not a lot of people now. Small group of people. 
Okay, because that's why I think the shit been fucked up. Everybody, not everybody, but some people was thinking this is a group of people. No, it's a small group of people. And that's why people right now can't tell who the fuck is lying and who's not. And who the liars, their finances is going to um, perish. Okay. Because your guy, <coughs> your guy given abilities irritate them because that wasn't given to them. They making shit up. Okay, and then they tell they making shit up, but then telling telling everybody you fake. And God is like trust no one. I told you I can't make this shit up. Okay, right now that's what it's on because it's a lot of motherfuckers playing. Okay. Ignore these fools, you're too fire for them. They're trying to block your money flow. Fake spiritual is here. It's all here. And and look at this shit. All the fuck you saw me do is pull the motherfucking cars. Constantly comparing themselves to you. They can't stand that you got got it made they can't stand you got it made meaning like your destiny was already written out for you to be what they call this luxury life that was already written that's already on your path all you had to do you and your feminine was wake up to who you are and bring it back that's that's your spiritual inheritance from a past life because that's who you've always been uh, uh, uh. be careful with them they play dirty so somebody here like i said this is the type of person they ride it out because this is the type of person they they gonna try to win at all costs. This is somebody that's very egotistical, very egotistical. This is the type of energy like they will blast you on on social media. They will blast you in front of everybody. They will blast you, and then when they get caught and get caught with the the rare motherfucking evidence, they still lie. This is a narcissist. This is a narcissist. This. Still motherfucking lie. This is like, I'm going to end this reading after this because this is annoying. Um, This is like, i seen this on Facebook. It was two fighters. I think Adrian Bonner, whatever his name is, and he was fighting. I believe the guy was either Mexican or whatever he was. And Adrian was going, like he was just hardy as fuck, doing all kind of dancing, jumping in the man face. Yeah, yeah, I hope you prepared, right? I hope you did this. Just all types of extra shit. And that man got in. That man was quiet the whole time. That man was disciplined the whole time. This man doing all the most in his face. And when that man got in the ring, he beat the shit out of that man. He beat the shit out of Adrian Bonner. But see, people that's quiet and disciplined, them the people you don't fuck with. It's always the ones that's trying to make somebody else look one way to be the one that you need to look at. Okay? So, just... Just know that it's getting ready to be a lot of exposure here. And uh, for those that, you know, are lying, it's not about trying to make them look fucked up or make them look stupid. Because, you know what I'm saying, people could do that to themselves. You don't need to you don't need to make them look a certain way after they done already did it to themselves. You just look at it like, wow. You know what I'm saying? This is a lesson. This is some shit that the, the spiritual realm, we all about to be like, wow. Real talk. And I walked away from this for a minute because I just got tired of looking at it and I got tired of hearing the same story. But I recognized that I got to come back and do what I was supposed to do. Plus, <coughs> I was asked to walk away for a minute to go do other shit. So it was two different things going on at the same time. I took this a couple, you know, I took some time off to rest and now it's game time, bitches.